Good morning children. Welcome to today's science class. In today's class, we will continue learning about block 19 that we are learning about the soil. You all know that in the previous class we understood that soil is a very very important natural resource and soil is very useful to us. So, so the, the first and foremost use is plants grow in the soil and also many organisms live in the soil and later we learnt about the other uses of soil and also we learnt about the layers of soil. So today's class we will still further learn more about the soil children. Just we will recollect what we learnt in the previous class. Yes, by now you all know that soil is a valuable natural resource. Humans and many organisms we depend on the soil. Therefore, it is important to always to take care of it and maintain the, uh, without polluting it, we have to maintain the soil on the earth. You can see the picture, how the plants are growing in the soil. You all know that without plants, we will not be able to get food. Not only that, soil is used to make pots, make chulas, houses. And also we learned that soil is also used to make bricks and all and even the dia so many uses we learned yes and then you all know that like earthworm and many other animals live in the soil later we learned that there are different types of soil different types of soil and also there are different layers when we take a soil and the say the soil will have different layers and you all know that soil is made up of particles small 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 pieces only Small, small, small pieces of rock only make the form as soil. And these particles, maybe they are very small, very fine or big particles make up the soil. In this picture, you can see how the soil is. It is made up of many particles. So, when we collect the garden soil, which was activity given to you in the previous class, you can observe the different layers of soil. The layers of soil, we learnt that the uppermost soil, see here, in this uppermost soil, where the plants grow, will have the humus. And uh, down to that we will have the clay, then the silt, very fine soil, then the sand and the small and the big stone. This is what we learnt about the layers of soil in the previous class. Now, let us move on to the other details about the soil. Now, you can see here there is a jar and something kept in the so something kept in the jar. Nothing, it is, it is the soil gelet. You put some soil in a jar and you just to pour water. Not only this, you are doing gardening with your grandparents or parents. So, when you go near the any plant, you sit down and when you start pouring water, what will you observe? Some Sometimes, most of the time you might have observed that some bubbles coming out. Yes or no children? Do you know why? Because soil contains air. When water is poured over soil kept in a jar, air bubbles start coming. This shows that soil contains air trapped between its particles. When water is poured, this air escapes in the form of bubbles. For example, you see inside the jar, small, small, small dots are kept. They are nothing but the particles of soil. In between the particles, there will be gap. That is the in that gap only air will be present. So when we pour water, water will go and fill in this gap. So that air which is there will come out and that will that only we can see as the bubbles. So one very very important thing, soil contain air. Now you might have understood that how earthworms are able to live in the soil. They will take this air and only they will breathe and they will be able to live in not only earthworm, other organisms in the soil also children. So simple activity to prove that soil contains air. Next we will move on to learn about soil also contains water. When some garden soil is heated in a container covered with the lid, drops of water are noticed on the inside of the lid. This shows that soil contains water. The water in the soil forms vapor when heated. The vapor touches the lid and cools down to form droplets means small drops of water. The water trapped in the soil is called moisture. So, soil contains water. See in your textbook page number 120, you can see one experimental setup. Same way like this. See water from the sea here. A piece of tin sheet is taken and they are heating with the on that only we are having the, the small amount of just one spoon of soil and then when you start heating, the tin is the sheet. It is which is covered instead of lid. So that when we start heating, the water, the soil will have the water. So that water will change into water vapor on heating. That will go up, rise up. When it touches the 
bottom of that glass bottom part of the glass it will cools it cools and they'll they'll be seen as the water droplets so in your textbook also same picture is there you can just again and again when you read you will be able to understand that soil contains water now chill so now so same thing only when garden soil is taken and when we are heating it you can see that instead of uh, the glass setup in the experimental setup which is shown in the textbook it will be done in the another way as shown in this also children so now let us move on what is given in the work sheet we'll see that so that it will be easy for us to understand it better so now you have to take along with this you cannot read from this clearly so you can always you keep open your workbook when you are watching the video page number 17 you can take as usually you have to write the date ramya s3 children ramya poured water into a new mud pot tick the observations that will tell her that mud has a so mud pot mud is also soil only so that is having so part it is made up of particles it will be having the pore pores so it will be having air first because you know that soil has air now will it having a hissing sound when you are pouring water can you hear that hissing sound children in a uh, in a mud pot will, will be we will, will be hearing yes smell of mud will come mud is having some smell yes soil has a smell yes bubbles will form when you pour water from one container to another one can you see the bubbles they are the air bubbles color of the pot becomes darker because this water will go and absorb in completely that pot you see complete the layer of the pot will be absorbed by the water so we the color of the pot also will change so you can ask say take us a kulfi ma pot or something today and you can observe this hissing sound will be observed smell of the mud you can observe bubbles you can see and also slowly when you pour water you can see that mud pot changing color darker why because this between the particles gap is there that is absorbed by the water so the color changes this you can try and you can uh, complete it children see the next next question mahak took some garden soil in a pan and covered it with a glass lid she then heated the pan what would happen children why so same experiment we saw what would help happen keep thinking third picture you see what does the picture show how does water in the soil help plants so first picture i showed you the plants are taking the water so you here also you see that picture and you see the root part of the plant and how it is up taking the water so just you up to this you can read the lesson and you can try to do on your own the finally you, we can check the answers for last slides I, you have the answers also first 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 you please try on your own next part of the lesson we'll see about the in the first part only we saw, we learned that soil is how the soil is formed it is from the rocks we learned so that is called as the formation of soil it takes many why you are recalling it is a very very important name natural resource because it takes millions of year to form the soil big big rocks are there on the earth so these rocks what will happen it will be heated by the sun suddenly rain will come and it will be cold weather will be there due to this heat and cold they will break and when they break and in between them they'll they'll break and keep on they'll be breaking and even when uh, when there is uh, when the water is carrying them due to the rain or anything they'll be rubbing on each other and the small pieces of small particles of soil will be formed children so formation of soil so even here also same thing how the rain and all so you can see the big big rocks how they are getting broken and finally how the soil is made so in your textbook also page number 121 very simple picture shown here rain falling on rock rock starts breaking soil formation starts and layers of soil form so final picture you can see how the plant started growing because the soil is already has formed rain and heat so you can write heat and cold will break the rock and the soil starts breaking 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 into small 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 pieces and the soil will be formed children so this is called weathering w e a t h e r i n g this is a process it's a complete method so that is called as weathering rocks break into smaller pieces due to the heat and cold so here heat from the sun and cold it may be from the snow from the rain water all this will play a very important role and this is called as weathering of rocks so the weathering of rocks will the final result will be the formation of soil children yeah so now let us see what is given in your in your in your, uh, in your workbook sheet s 4 you can see children you can see you can see the clear picture in your 
textbook 18 you can see the pictures write the numbers 1 to 4 in the blanks to show the correct order in the formation of soil so after reading your textbook you can try to number it so first big big rocks then the it is getting rain and heat is making it to break then it is breaking breaking and finally you can see that plants start growing so that time the soil is formed explain how soil is formed so this only in your simple words after reading the textbook you can put and you can complete the top layer of the soil gets washed away due to heavy rains why is it important to save it so even this question also you keep on thinking why we have to think top layer what is there we learned when we learned about the layers of soil humus is there and humus is very very important for the plants to grow yes no children so now see here different uses of soil so how important is soil that is why we need to see here so many things already what we discussed this there soil soils are very important for the planet they are key for many factors soil is very very important so it is our it is very important and it is our duty to keep the soil in a healthy way and stop polluting the soil yeah children now you can see read the block 19 from the textbook and complete s3 and s4 i said so formation of soil in a simple words how rain how heat and all will break the rocks and how soil is formed then finally when you are you can check your answer it's like this so first one s3 again you can take the s3 so as i said the mud pot hissing sound will come yes you tick smell of mud will come tick bubbles will be formed and color of pot becomes darker next about the mehak mehak took some garden soil in a pan and covered it with a glass lid she then heated the pan what would happen why mehak will find few droplets of water underside of the lid down underside of the lid because soil contains water why reason is soil contains water next what does the picture show how does water in the soil help plants water the picture shows the root of the plant absorbing water from the soil plants need water to grow and also to make their food so this you can complete on your own so next we'll see s4 sorry next we'll see the s4 children s4 you can see so first one just numbering one two three four in the order that you can try yourself second one explain how soil is formed in your page number textbook page number 120 you can see a small paragraph explaining the formation of soil very very simple one rocks break into smaller pieces due to the heat and cold and this takes millions of years to form so this this is called as weathering of rock you can write and you can explain that seeing the textbook you can do that or you can write on your own the last question the top layer of the soil gets washed away due to heavy rains why is it important children top layer of the soil has humus which is needed to grow plant that is why we have to protect the soil when soil is washed away plants will not grow when plants are not growing well will not get the food yes no children so now there is a simple work for you drawing and drawing draw and label a neat diagram of the activity which shows that soil has water so soil has water you are having in 120 page number that experimental setup is there that you draw and you label that is the activity for today's class and also read that lesson two to three times you will be understanding it very well and the very important thing is just we are checking whether we are able to follow what is there in the lesson or not by completing the worksheets so check it and be ready for the next class children bye bye children